Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OC review video. Today we are taking a look at the first singles assortment series for Spin Master Monster Jam of 2022 and it is series 22. As I mentioned last time when I reviewed a series, series 21 ended 2021 and now we're starting off 2022 with the 22nd series of Spin Master Monster Jam singles. I am so excited because there's a couple trucks in here today that I've been looking forward to, especially one particular independent truck, which you're seeing right here on the right side of your screen, as well as a bunch of others that are really cool in this assortment. So let's check out the assortment breakdown right now. The first one is the new Chase Piece series, which we'll talk about at the end of the video, which are the true heavy metal trucks, and they feature a metal chassis and metal body. We'll come back to this at the end. We have a Megalodon from the Max Contrast series, black and white series returning for 2022. Then we have the Lumberjack, which is a a teammate to crustacean from bottom feeder motorsports this is insanely cool we'll check this out in great detail i promise then the return of a familiar face but under a new name the nitro neons are getting a big upgrade and now called hyper fueled series with grave digger we have the el toro loco black returning part of the legacy trucks i'm going to make a big point about this in a little while but this is the first legacy trucks of this year the el toro loco we have the return of Storm Damage from the original Doubles Packs Mix 1 assortment in 2019. It has been a super long time since we've seen this truck. I'm really excited to talk about it again. Here's Storm Damage. Then the final three we have in the middle right here, the return of Blue Grain Grave Digger or the original Grave Digger number one paint scheme with some updates and really cool features. Then we have the Max D from the brand new See-Through Crew series. I'll compare this to other clear body series in a moment. And then the final new truck from the Rough Crowd is the Monster Mutt with BKTs and Grave Rims. We're gonna start today's review with that Ultra Loco I mentioned before, however, which is right here, again, from Legacy Trucks. And if you're noticing, yes, there are new packaging styles for 2022, completely redone. The card art and design, the actual shape of the card is completely different. The background is World Finals 22 with Megalodon and Bakugan jumping off the blue and right side of World Finals 22. And then we have the truck in the center with a brand new bubble style. You can see the treads through the bubble. I really like how they designed the bubble. Then I love the stance of the truck, by the way, in a ramp style format with a brand new name placard style. Really good. And then we have three actual accessories. You only get one of them, but there are three types of accessories this year. As you can see, it says bonus. By the way, regalo just means bonus in Spanish. And then we have a poster as well, as always included in here. Then the back of the card is also different. We have the truck that you actually have in the box featured in a big format, unlike previous series where it was not featured at all. We have the big format of El Toro Loco Black with its accessory, which is a ramp. Then you have the category of the truck, which is legacy trucks and the other eight trucks right here. So I really applaud them for the new packaging design. Very well done. And let's unbox it. The Black El Toro Loco for series 22 legacy trucks. Okay, so here's everything you can see in this new packaging style. Again, I love the new name placards. Very well done. Much better than 2021. I think that was probably the worst ones they've done, but these are much, much better. Really cool. And then we have the ramp it came with. We'll talk about this in a moment. And let's check out the poster. So pause the review. Let's check out the poster. This is the first time I'm seeing a new poster for 2022. So it's really exciting. I'm sure they redid it and they did. Really nice look here. So here are the trucks in this assortment right there. You can see brand new style for the poster layout. Uh, so we have Grave Digger, Grave Digger number one, Black Altar Loco, Storm Damage, and Lumberjack, which if you notice, they actually combine them since they're from the same series. Rough Crowd, See-Through Crew, True Heavy Metal Trucks, and Max Contrast, with the background again being World Finals 22. And I like that they made the poster kind of half the trucks and half like a big design. Really cool, like a mini version of the yearbook posters. So there's that, and the back here, we have Monster Mutt. I think we've had Monster Mutt before, but Monster Mutt is back for the back of the poster yet again, right there. And here is Black El Toro Loco. And again, the ramp right here. This is one of the three accessories that you can possibly get. And it does fit the truck like that. So that's really cool. And here is El Toro Loco. And the reason I want to talk about this is because they actually did not update this truck at all. It's basically the same truck that we've had received for the last few releases of it. So they have to update the flame pattern. This is one thing I've mentioned many times before. All El Toro Locos have a smooth flame pattern to mimic the airbrushing in real life. And Black El Toro Loco is the only one that has not received that update. The other two have. And uh, it would be really nice to have a Black El Toro Loco with the updated smooth flames, as well as on the hood. And then it needs its red chin hairs, as all the El Toro Locos have them. 
and this one has not received that. So hopefully in the future, I was hoping this would be the one that gets the update. Hopefully in the future, we'll see a Black Elk Trollico updated with the new flame pattern. We actually have the mini one, which does have the new flame pattern. But anyway, here's Black Elk Trollico yet again. It has the same red to yellow gradient horns, nice black body with the graphics from the original render style, the white teeth, and then this side, same stuff, tailgate with monstrum.com. It has orange rims with BKT printing, black chassis and black roll cage. So they did return to doing BKT printing for legacy trucks, it looks like. So hopefully they'll keep doing that all year. So first legacy truck of the year, it is Black El Toro Loco. And another familiar face, this is the Monster Mutt for 2022, part of the Rough Crowd. There's the back, let's unbox it. Okay, so here is the Monster Mutt from Rough Crowd. And I think it looks really cool with those gray rims. If you actually remember back in 2019 when they were releasing Series 4, uh, they did plan to do this monster mutt the same exact way you're seeing it right now. However, in the end, they decided to run with chrome rims because it was thought that chrome rims would be better for selling. But actually, since this year, 2019, up to now, 2022, they've phased out chrome on most chassis and most rims. So now we're actually running exactly how it should have been done the first time around with the new ear design. So it's really cool to see the difference in four years, what it makes here. So that's really cool to see. And I love this one much better. I gotta be honest here. I also love the BKT printing that they added. Even though it's not a legacy truck, they did do BKTs onto it. And I think it looks insane with the gray rims or silver rims, whatever you call it. And then it has a dark gray chassis with a black roll cage. And of course, like I said, the new Monster Mutt ears with the ears down. So this is a great release of Monster Mutt. If you haven't picked one up yet, definitely recommend picking this one up. I think it's the most complete looking one and it's really awesome. So there is Monster Mutt for the Rough Crowd and it comes with a crush car. So this is what the crush car looks like, the mold for crush cars. And uh, yeah, I think it's really cool to have different accessories for displays. And that's how it looks with the truck. So there is Monster Mutt with its brand new accessory. And next up is the return of Storm Damage. Let's check it out. And Storm Damage is part of the Arena Favorites this year. So here it is, and it comes with a Monster Jam barrel. Really cool to see that. So this is the third accessory that you can get, a barrel for displays or track purposes. So pretty cool to see that. And here is Storm Damage. So like I mentioned, we did see Storm Damage released in Mix 1 or Series 1 of the double packs for 2019, the first double packs ever by Spin Master. And now it has returned for the second time ever with the same design as it was originally released with, but a big difference in the rim color and chassis color. So they stopped using the chrome chassis, like I mentioned. Now it's a gray chassis with the same blue roll cage. And this time it has bright orange rims with black BKTs. So they have also done a better job with graphics. You can see they wrap the grill now properly with the black and just overall clarity wise, much better. You'll notice it in real life if you get one of these and have another one from the past. So there is Storm Damage yet again for the Spin Master Monster Jam line with the same square body design from before. Really cool to see it. And I hope we get other Storm Damages in the future. So Storm Damage for the Arena Favorite Series. And next on the review list is Grave Digger number one, the blue and gray body. So this is actually taking place during obviously an anniversary year for Grave Digger. And it's one of the decade anniversaries. So it's the 40th anniversary. So this year we're gonna see a lot of Grave Digger trucks from the past. This is a really cool one from the Retro Rebel series. And I've been actually waiting for them to do this because there has been a couple updates that I've been waiting to see personally for a normal release. So let's check out Grave Digger number one, the blue and gray panel scheme. And here it is on the ramp. It comes with a dirt ramp and a poster. And here is the brand new edition of this blue and gray paint scheme for Grave Digger number one. The big update that I've mentioned in the past in a doubles pack review was the capital C on Curatuck. They finally did that, which was requested by the community since the five pack was released. And it had that lowercase C at Curatuck. Unlike the other two letters that led the other words, the G and grain and the C and company, uh, Kira Tuck was not capitalized, but Jordan did fix that for us right there from the design team. So it looks really good there. Finally getting a normal release of that and also getting a normal release of the accurate dark blue rims that the truck used to have on its real life scheme. And then it also has a uh, better graphics quality on the front here. The headlights are now using paint instead of decals. So they're much brighter in person and the paint lines are just much better over time. They have improved that. So everything looks much better. Also the paint color is a little darker and more accurate to the real life truck. So I'm really enjoying this release. And they've also updated the actual insert here for the bumper. It is now black instead of gray. I think it looks much better. And of course the truck does not have a motor because this truck doesn't technically exist anymore. So they left out the motor for that. So there is the Grave Digger grain truck released for the 40th anniversary of Grave digger in the retro rebel series and now we have the see-through crew debut with the max d let's check it out and discuss this truck 
So here is the see-through crew Max D. It is not a sheer madness truck, which I'm not sure if they're even returning this year, but so far it looks like the see-through crew is gonna have a clear chassis with clear rims instead of a clear body with metal chassis. And if you guys recall the sheer madness series from last year, this is what I'm talking about. There was five trucks with clear bodies, Soldier Fortune being one of them with metal chassis to offset the plastic body weight. As you can hear, that's a very heavy truck. This time it is a metal body with a plastic see-through chassis. So it's very interesting how they did this. I'm wondering if this is just for Max D or if it's gonna be for all the trucks because Max D would technically need a new casting for a metal chassis front engine. I don't know if that's the reason they did the chassis instead of the body, who knows, but the see-through crew is a brand new series and I kind of like it. Honestly, you guys know I love clear parts if you watch my channel for a long time. So clear parts on any truck will always be very highly praised by me. So I really like how this Maxi turned out. I love that it's a completely clear chassis. No coloration in the chassis, really clear. Then basically it has a pearl colored roll cage. It's not silver, it's not completely white, but it's also partially transparent. So it's super cool how they did that. And then clear orange rims for this truck. And then it has that standard Maxi body right there, 12 time champion on the roof. So I like this new series. It definitely has a lot of potential for future releases. I do want to see what else they release in this series this year but hopefully at some point in the future if they do sheer madness again i hope that we'll get a clear body max d but for now here is the see-through crew max d for 2022 spin master monster jam on the front engine right there for series 22 and now we have hyper fueled also a new debuting series with gravedigger being the leading truck let's check this out all right so the hyper fueled series definitely a callback to the original nitro neons trucks of the past 2019 through 2020. They stopped producing them in 2021 and now it looks like they're returning with much more neon than previous trucks released. A lot of people wonder why Spin Master didn't do the Nitro Neons fully neon with the body, the windshield and every part of the chassis. But this time they are bringing it back with Hyper Fueled completely neoned out. There is no part of this truck that is not neon besides the graphics. So this thing looks much better. This is a Nitro Neon by the way on the right side. I can't remember super well, but I think this is 2019's Nitro Neon. So the difference in terms of graphics quality is much better, but also in terms of how they did nitro neons versus how they do hyper fueled is a huge difference so i think hopefully people that didn't like nitro neons before because of the chassis colors and all the differences happening here hopefully they'll like this much better if not then they just don't like nitro neons or anything to do with neon but here is the brand new hyper fueled grave digger it has bright green everything so basically roll cage chassis rims tires body color and the windshield are all neon green and this thing looks super cool. So again, an anniversary year for Gravediggers, so we expect to see a few Gravediggers more than usual, and this is one of those. But I think the graphics clarity is amazing on this. It's absolutely clear, and I love how the flames kind of melt into the body there, and it just has a great look to it. Very cool, and I think this series has a lot of potential as well to do better things than Nitro Neon did. So I love it. There is the Hyper Fueled Gravedigger for 2022 Series 22 Spin Master Monster Jam. And we're coming down to the final three trucks. We have the Max Contrast Megalodon, a returning series on a new body. Here we go. And here is the black and white Megalodon. I think this thing really fits this series well. And I'm glad they continue to do the Max Contrast series. One of my favorites so far. Very simple, but very effective in how they do it. And they have the gray and white style on this truck. I think it just works really, really well. And it has a blacked out eyeball with black gums and white teeth. And I love the Megalodon logo in black and white with the white fins and this gray detail all over the truck. Just an amazing release for Max Contrast. And again, I hope they continue to do these because I think it's one of the best series they've ever done. It has a solid white chassis, black roll cage, black rims, and solid white tires. So there is Megalodon for the Max Contrast series, starting off this year's black and white trucks for series 22. And the final truck before the chase piece, it is my favorite truck of the assortment, the Lumberjack, the bottom feeder motorsports owned truck. It is an independent and it actually has only run in Monster Jam a few times, very few times. So many new Monster Jam fans might not even know this truck existed in Monster Jam at some point. It is an independent and it runs at other shows, but in Monster Jam terms, this has not run very long. So I'm surprised they actually made this truck, but I'm super happy that they did. Let's check this truck out. There's so much detail to talk about. I will be honest and say that I've waited many, many years for this truck to be released. Even from the first moment they released photos of it, I was hoping that when Hot Wheels had the contract, they would make it, but of course they didn't. Now Spin Master took the initiative and did do this truck, and they did such a phenomenal job recreating an inspired casting by the GMC body. The truck runs in real life, and I'm just so glad we finally have the completion to the bottom feeder motorsports team. So let's check this truck out. I mean, this is just incredible. I love how they've done this casting. It is absolutely perfect. So the first thing I wanna talk about, like I mentioned, is the GMC inspired casting. It is not officially licensed as a GMC truck, but you can see the cab is heavily inspired by a GMC front clip 
and cab. And you can see it has all the details of a GMC truck right there. They did have to block out the GMC logo in the grill, so they did put a Monster Jam logo there. Doesn't bother me at all. And I like that they have the headlights there printed in as well. And on the hood there, the Lumberjack Moss Truck logo and then we have the side panel with the Lumberjack logo and the Beavers building their dam. And then we have the Moss Jam logo. And you can see they did paint these little details like the real life truck has exact same colors on the sides of the lumber or logs on the back of the truck. And you can see the exhaust pipe goes down and into the truck like the real life one as well, painted silver. And then the logs actually all end at the back here with detail on there. I think this is just such a cool casting, perfectly done, exactly how the real life truck looks. I mean, if you look at a picture of Lumberjack in real life and you look at a picture of this, pretty much spot on. Nothing besides a couple minor details uh, in terms of casting work that they couldn't do because it's an inspired casting. Besides that, it's absolutely 100% perfect. And to me, it is. And then it has a black roll cage with a gray chassis and the same orange color rims that we've seen three times in this assortment. And we do have the crustaceans here to put next to its teammate truck, the Lumberjack. All three from Bottom Feeder Motorsports now together right here. It has been such an awesome thing to see Spin Master do all of the crustaceans plus the Lumberjack now. Of course, they did Raw Crustacean last year and it was one of my top trucks of the year. But now Lumberjack probably will be in the top 10 of my list again this year. So Bottom Feeder Motorsports getting two times in the last two years, one of the top trucks of the year. And the final new truck is the True Heavy Metal Son of a Digger, the new Chase Piece series for 2022. Let's check it out. And you can hear that right there. It has a metal chassis and a metal body. So it is double the normal weight of a Spin Master Monster Jam truck. This again is the chase piece of this year. Very similar to Showtime trucks because they did paint the headers and very similar to training trucks because it has a metal chassis. So if we look back at the past chase pieces of Spin Master Monster Jam, we had the train trucks with the metal chassis and plastic body. Then we had the ride trucks in 2020, brand new castings all across the board. And then last year in 2021, we had Showtime with a plastic chassis, but painted shocks and headers for the motor, which was a first for Monster Jam diecast printing on the roll cage. So this has been a really cool thing to see them evolve with. And now we have the release of the true heavy metal trucks with the painted headers, not painted shocks, but a metal chassis. And it's super heavy, super cool to see. And I love how it feels. It reminds me of the original Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks that were metal on metal. And it just feels super cool to have the full metal trucks again. So Chase Pieces are back with this release of true heavy metal trucks. And you can see they did not update the grill printing for this release of Son of a Digger. Hopefully future ones will have it. I think this was just produced really early or it's using an old body. So there is Son of a Digger, the exact same one as previous releases, but the new chassis is the reason why the Chase Piece, again, heavy metal trucks, super heavy with black rims, BKT printing, chrome headers on a blue roll cage. So there is Son of a Digger, and that will wrap up the Series 22 review for Spin Master Monster Jam. There's been some pretty cool trucks and new series debuting in this set. But again, my favorite of this entire assortment was the Lumberjack. So that has been Series 22. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this new series and the new trucks that were included. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Random Monster Moose CD, signing out.